it is still morning you are still watching why in the morning you are still being bombarded by amazing things amazing content and amazing leaders and future leaders in studio it's a man crush monday we're crushing on our kings but before that it still is easter fever and this was the question if you could take an easter basket to your neighbors what would you include in it and why so jolie viv says um this is jolie from thika i would put some bread grape wine snacks and some pizza <laughs> davy bonnet says i would make sure it has some chocolate and kalavno tv because i have a terrible crush on my neighbor's daughter way a square daughter landlord daddy wales and asama hi white five for its wales uh watching from mombasa and my easter basket to one of my neighbors this year will most definitely include an air freshener an air freshener Ujonge episode. I did not see no shade, but those folks did it. Mm, 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 mm. But thank you for loving the show, Wales, Wales. Hi, hi, hi. With Kelly, Jackie, Babuyao from Nyaribo says, I would put unga ya ugali apo ju. He jo at least arudishenguvu. Ah, wendo unaelewa manzi town. Neza ika some kinyeji greens to managu kamuhiga ma ma. Okay so so oh, metaja vitu others and then um and I'm sure kuna watu walikuwa hizi hizi last walikuwa watu so hiyo ndio naweza kwa zawadi yangu Charlie Favor says Hi white five four I'm favorite classic from Taita Taveta wow hi during easter I will ensure that my neighbor eats what I eat this is because we have to share what we have with others no matter how small it is <laughs> and you guys are deep even in the morning uh, finally we go to white to five on facebook we've just put up a post and we are talking collectively today about opening up i'm feeling like this have there has been a wave some kind of wave with with our kings either committing suicide or committing homicide homicide nikua watu suicide nikujua mwenyewe so there's there's something going on and we want to talk about it is is it a mental situation ni pressure za dunia what's going on at y254 on facebook hashtag is why in the morning we can also add us on twitter at y254 channel no, my name is still valentine but chamuimu si mimi sai chamuimu ni yawa so Let's say hi to Pandas. Hi guys. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? From the Cape of Poa. Wow, let me start with the Queen. Hi Queen. Yeah. Good Welcome morning. to Studio Mazi. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name is Faith Tuku mm -hmm. from the Technical University of Kenya. Mhm. Mm I am the Gender and Social Welfare Secretary. Mhm. Mm and I'm glad to be here. Gender and Social Welfare. So in the right place. Yeah. We have things to talk about. Boy child and Omia. Yeah. 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 I, can I come to you next? Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay, thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Steve Lucky. Mm -hmm. I'm a model. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher of Anyonge. Mhm. And uh, I'm a strong person. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you also a boy child representative? Yes, I'm a boy child. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we can talk honestly and truthfully. Yeah. Ni kwapo kwa tete. Give us your social media handles. Mm -hmm. CPT underscore like Steve. And the Facebook class team of Steve Austin. Wait, one more time, slowly. <laughs> okay, uh, Instagram, uh -huh. uh, CPT underscore Lux Steve. Mm -hmm. And uh, Facebook, Lux Steve, Max Steve Austin. Queen, you haven't given us your handles? No, uh, Facebook, mm -hmm. Ambassador Faye Toku. Only. Where, where, yeah. where, 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 <laughs> Guys, I don't The last time Simba was here he was in a New Jersey. Alafu two years siku tu tukashindwa na Barcelona lakini it's okay. Shapona. No one is going yeah. But your game ilikuwa game. Did you see how they played? They played well. Wow. Yeah. Hata sikusikia vibaya sana. Kwa mimi because it was one one nil. No if you lose one nil to Barcelona you survive. Did you see that game yesterday? Um it was terrible. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah? What wali raruliwa but that's not the point. Please uh, introduce yourself. <laughs> um, my name is Aldrin mm -hmm. Oma Simba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Social me. media handles? Social media is Aldrin Oma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you like to tell us Aldrin Oma how you feel about these many cases of suicide and homicide that are going on now? I think uh, I think this thing is brought by ego. Really? Yeah, ego between the those people in love because mm -hmm. I uh, for the past like 2 weeks. Mhm. Mm you've had the men killing the women or the men trying to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately this death has not been taken serious because the death have been accompanied by memes. Mm. You find like men are, are like we went to the men conference mm. to say shock her not shocker. 
So the death have come with memes. Mbona yeye mimi haijanifikia? The main conference wow. uh, you know. <laughs> so the so this day it's like death uh, death has a uh, support of meme. It, it, is it that we're not taking it seriously or we don't know how to deal with it? Like it's so shocking, we still don't know what to do. First we laugh about it so that we break the ice. Is that what's going on? Am I it's just blatant disrespect? I don't know, I don't I don't know how to put it. But mm -hmm. I, I think these days death is just like any other people are just taking it. Anyone can die because every, everybody is like mm. YOLO, you're living once. So if you die, mm. your once has died there. So no, they're not taking it serious. Tell me how you feel about this screen. Bede, I am very disappointed. Mm -hmm. You know, like, at the same time, mm -hmm. there, has, there have been so many... This is your camera. Mm -hmm. There have been so many uh, trials trying to make things right in this world. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, vitu uh, haziwa kunona. Mm -hmm. Like, we've been going to the streets, mm -hmm. ladies fighting for the rights of women. But unfortunately, it seems that that is an old method. Mm -hmm. We need to to have new methods of doing things in this country. Mm -hmm. Because if we continue maybe going to the streets each and every time and there is no action being taken, I think we have to do something like empower men. Mm -hmm. Having uh, sessions of talking to our men, telling them you should not do this, this is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because it will lead them to maybe jail or being killed by other people because who people are so bitter who, about who it. Who is we? Who is we telling the men? We as women, as in women are feeling like mm -hmm. we are being subjected to a, a lot of suffering, you know. We mm -hmm. are seeing each other. Look at uh, uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. Naomi Chepkemoy from Pwani University. University. She was stabbed and she's fighting for her, for her life right now. Mm -hmm. You know such cases, you know, I, I feel so bad, bad about it mm -hmm. this morning, yeah. Steve, I have a question. Miss mm -hmm. Kujikaza, sana sana an African man. In fact, the other day we were talking about um, going to see a specialist, like a therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever the the trade. But to come be well, first of all, at least afford. But again, you can afford it. The people, the places that it's given free. These services are for free. First of all, we don't know. Ama hatu pendi, ama tutaki jusi ni Africa, tufai kuongea to your feelings. What's going on? Why Why are we so angry? Actually, yes. no, 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm glad you said that because now we have a couple of slides coming up and, and in all fairness and in all honesty we are trying to get a balance here. So not only have we shown cases of, of men harming their intimate partners, we also have cases of women doing the exact same thing. So we're trying to be fair. <laughs> so still go to Facebook, our, uh, our page is at Y254 on Facebook and then comment on the post and we can get your two cents on it. But in the meantime, if we're ready with the slides, we can do that. So again, you know the topic today is opening up. Honestly, at a before to answer a conversation, would you open up to someone if you had a problem, say, hey, bro, come chicken show, hey, maisha, and go down, Kiasi. Like, this and this is happening. Kama ni day, mame fanya hivi. Kama ni job, manze ya kuendi hivi. Would you do it as an African man right now? Okay, njua, 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 sisi, kwenna, kwa tuko open-minded. Okay, kwa tuko nye mother sana. For instance, kwa tuko kuna shida and Sedisha na mungine, so na hafu ni maji ya mazia, then ina ina pile up, then ina ina kumiza, okay? Yeah, so na fa, okay, na fa ku kwenye kama mtu na mambia, for instance, tu kwenye kwa ana jua, ana zapati mawida, so ana zapati mtu na jua, but still ana ana naka akienda kwa kuelezea mtu mungine kushana with him, ana pata ah, maybe ana zapata maybe ukowi or something, yeah. Simba, would you? As yeah. an, an African man, would yeah, you? As an African man, yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. I would. I would just open up because opening up solves a lot of things. Because if you let them pile up, you'll find yourself saving money mm -hmm. to buy unnecessary things like the shoker and mm -hmm. the knife. People are not even saving money to buy shoker. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. So we have a couple of statistics. Prevalence data on different forms of violence against women. We have physical or sexual of, of an intimate part of violence. It's 39, guys, 39% 39 is 1% shy of 40, which is almost half. Do half ni 50. Cindy, 
what's going on? There's physical or sexual intimate part of that that lasts 12 months, 26%. And you see, like, ish. It's, it's, then the rest, we have child marriage and FGM, 21 and 23 um, percent. And this is a UN human rights body, so you can see it's legit. Guys, kuna mali nimeenda mona internet that Africa is the one place you're most likely to die juu ya kupenda mtu. We have women in Africa have the greatest risk of being killed by their intimate. Imagine, like it's a thing now. Like if you're in the States somewhere or, or in Australia, you say, hey, I want to go date an African man. Hey, hey, don't do it. Because huko, uneza at any time. So the rate of female homicide, at 2016, we're in 2019. So this thing started a while back. So at 12.6%, guys. Yeah? 12.6%. Maybe I'm near Larry, to some in the thousands. Okay, in 2012, it was 48,000 women killed. Women in Africa killed by their intimate partners, guys.